Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my kawaii world. So I know that you guys love shopping at Artbox as much as I do, so I decided to go and check out what was new lately. And I'm going to divide this into two videos because I have so much footage that I filmed that it's not all going to fit in one video. And in this video, we're going to go shopping, and then in my next Artbox video, we're going to go shopping, and I'm going to do a haul of all the cool stuff that I bought. And I went all out this time, I spent so much money, so make sure you guys stay Stay tuned for that video subscribe to my channel and hit your notifications bell so that you don't miss it anyway let's get started I don't think I've seen this before but these look like drinking games drinking alcohol is a big part of Korean culture but personally I don't really drink anymore this area has a bunch of cute mugs and I thought that this coloring mug was really cute I was kind of tempted to get this for my kids if you find that cups are too small and you need a gigantic cup, we found this one that was the same size as Sienna's head. Our box also has a bunch of cute water bottles. I thought these were really adorable. And then these ones down here have Ryan on them. And there are some with the special art box characters on them. And those frosted beer mugs are pretty cool. I love the little carrot and pineapple water bottles. Here are a ton of temporary tattoos. I'm not quite sure why Artbox has so many, but my kids do really like these. It's summertime, so the fans are out. I thought that this soft serve ice cream fan was super cute. And then down here they have dry bags, and I think this is great for putting your wet swimsuit in when you go to the pool or to the beach. This is the bento box section, so they have some of those, and here are some cute coasters and they have also these little toothpicks that you could put in your bento box to sort of decorate your food and i have a lot of these that i already got from japan i'll usually put one or two of them into sienna's lunch and these look like little covers for your teacup and they have a lot of these paper straws and reusable straws as well and this picnic mat and cooling bag set is super adorable This little box had different types of washi tapes with all different thicknesses and then over here they have all the different planners. I think that these are all really pretty. I've had my eye on one of these light boxes for quite a while now. They're not too expensive. I think this one is about 16,000 won which is about 14 or 15 US dollars. This one is a little different. It kind of reminds me of light brights from the 80s. And this is a larger light box, which is about 19,000 won or about 18 US dollars or so. I don't know if I should get the large or the medium. And there's this teeny tiny baby one, which I think is too small for me. It's only 10,000 won, which is about nine US dollars. They have a couple of different embroidery sets here and that's something that I always wanted to get into kind of, but I just haven't really made the time for it. Here are some of those wrap-in pins slash patches that you can put on your jacket or use to decorate your backpack. These keychains are really adorable and I like these little iridescent colored straps with the little sayings on them. I've seen this LCD writing tablet at a couple of art boxes. And it seems like something that my daughter would really like, but I haven't gotten it yet. I feel like the iPad with the iPad pen can probably do the same thing. Artbox has some really cute stickers. They're a little bit more expensive than what you can find at Daiso, which is where I usually like to get my stickers. But I think that the ones here are a little bit more unique. Do any of you guys collect pins? I do. I have a pin collection from all the places that I've traveled to, but I haven't really started collecting cute pins like this. I think that if I did start, it would get out of control pretty quickly. And over here they also have the wrap-in or iron-on patch version of all those cute little pins. I think the Sakura ones are so pretty. This little mini slot machine is so cute. Artbox has the cutest hair dryers and flat irons. These unfortunately though have 240 volt plugs so 
when I go back to the US I can't use them so I'm not gonna get one but I think some of them do have USB plugs and they also have some Instax mini cameras these are so pretty guess what they are they're hair brushes I don't know why I love these so much but 24 US dollars for a hairbrush I think I'll pass on that one here's some of the cute masks that they have here and then they also have these filter inserts that you can just switch out whenever you need to what is this cute little Hello Kitty thing? It's a travel hairbrush that detangles your hair. I feel like my kids could use that. Here are all the Esther Bunny pop sockets and I really need to get a new one because mine has started to peel. I think I cleaned it with alcohol and that probably wasn't a good idea because after that it started to peel around the edges. Does your iPhone charging cable ever start to fray at the end? Valentina used to like to chew on my cords so I do have a lot of frayed ones and I think these cable protectors are really great but you can also find them at Daiso for a dollar they're not as cute though this baby chon is an art box character but to me it kind of looks like a ripoff of Esther Bunny art box has the cutest little coin purses and storage pouches I wish that I had a need for these but I really don't I think this makes a great gift for like a teenager or preteen who hasn't started carrying high-end designer wallets and coin purses. They have some really cute makeup pouches here too, but to be honest, you can find cute stuff like this at Daiso and it'll be half the price. It won't be quite the same and maybe it won't be quite as cute, but if you're budget conscious, then shop at Daiso. These are little cushions that you can rest your wrist on when you're using a mouse. I don't use a mouse anymore, I just use my touchpad, but I think these are really adorable. For some reason I really like these hardcover zip pouches. I think this is great for putting stuff in when you travel. So I don't think I've ever covered the pen section at Artbox in detail, so let's just get into it right here. These are Japanese lead pencils and I think the lead rotates so that it doesn't get worn out on one side too quickly. I think it's called the Kurutoga pencil. And some of them have cute designs on it like this Mickey Mouse one. These are the Uniball Signo pens and they make a really nice gel pen. These are the Style Fit Slim gel pens and it looks like they have a lot of different colors of refills here. Here's some refill for lead pencils and then they have all these different Pentel pens right here. Over here they have all of these Sakura pens and this Sakura Jelly Roll style pen is the pen of my childhood. I remember when I was younger I had a pretty nice collection of these but they were kind of expensive and they were really nice. This is the Delgard lead pencil. It's supposed to have unbreakable lead. And over here we have the Monami pens. Monami is a Korean brand. They make a pretty wide variety of pens including ballpoint and gel pens and markers and I don't think they're as great quality as some of the Japanese pen brands but they are less expensive, so you can get a nice variety of colors without spending a ton of money. Over here they have some multi-packs of pens and pencils. I think this pastel set is really pretty. These are fabric pastel pencils, which I believe are German, and I think that these ones with the little dots on the side are really nice. Artbox also carries a bunch of different novelty pens that aren't really the best quality, but they're super adorable. I mean, this little carrot pen is so cute. A lot of these cute novelty pens you can find in the stationery district at Dongdaemun, and it'll probably be about half the price, so maybe 700 won, which is about 70 cents, instead of 1500 won, which is about $1.50. 
but there's no guarantee that you'll be able to find it there and really who has the time to go and hunt down these things so if I were you I would probably just purchase them at Artbox if there's something that really speaks to you. I love these little cases for storing pencil lead. You can just refill it with your regular lead from an ordinary looking lead pencil refill case. I can just imagine the fourth grade Marie going nuts over this and feeling so happy to put it in her Hello Kitty plastic pencil case. Look at those gigantic dog novelty pens. Here are some bookmarks if you still use old school books. And this is the Monami Olika pen. I think I did a demo on this in my Korean stationery video. And here are all the cute little post-it notepads that they have. I love that little pineapple memo pad. I think it's so adorable. And then here are the regular post-it notes. And they have some sticky tabs that are pretty unique. In Korea, there's a lot of pressure, especially when you get into high school, to do really well in school and to ace your college entrance exams. So I think that all this fun stationery really adds a little bit of joy to those students' lives and probably makes studying a little bit fun. These are just little pencil caps that you can put on your regular pencils to prevent the lead from breaking when it's in your pencil case. I have more tape measures than I need, but I really like that snail tape measure. I think it's so adorable. They have a really nice selection of erasers here. I think these are all those high quality Asian erasers that are really good at erasing stuff. Nothing like those pink pearl erasers that I used to use when I was in elementary school. And then they have some really adorable sharpeners here. I mean, this unicorn is so cute. It took me a minute to figure out what this was, and I know Sienna would love that bunny. And now we're at the scissors section. These are some of the stick scissors that they have. The price is really cheap. I mean, the alligator one and the polar bear are only 2,900 won, which is about two US dollars or so. And then these other ones are 3,500 won, which are probably around three US dollars. So Artbox has so many of these interesting pens, they can't put them all in one place, like that poop pen. And these are more of the cute pens that are probably not super great quality, but still really cute. Aren't those diamond paper clips gorgeous? And here are the staplers. I have that little bee stapler, and I have way too many staplers to be honest. But there's this one, the hot dog. Oh my gosh, I wanted this so badly but I really don't need another stapler in my life, so I put it down. I also really like that gold one. I would love to have a really clean, minimalist desk with all rose gold accessories on it. Here's all of the correction tape. These are all so tempting because they're all super cute. And here are a couple of really cute scotch tape cases. And then down here they have some really cute packing tape. And I like to use this when I'm sending out packages to friends or to my Patreons. I like to add a little something to make it cute. They have a little stamp section here. Do you guys remember the days when stamps were really cool? We used to use them to make cards and for scrapbooking. They were a lot of fun. These are so adorable. It's a little chicky in a bunny costume. And this is a bear that's dressed up as a penguin. These are stamps, by the way. These are the little coin tissues that expand when you put them into water, but they have cute designs on them. And they have these clear plastic makeup cases. So this is some of the washi tape that they have up close. I really like that one that has the marshmallows all twisted up and this one is so cute. It has that little dog that's a ripoff of Esther Bunny but I still think it's pretty cute. If you want to see more shopping and Korea videos, check out these playlists right here. And I want to give a big shout out and thank you to my Patreons and my channel members for supporting me. I really appreciate you guys. You are so amazing. So thank you so much for your support. I will talk to you next time. Bye!